Welcome to prayer and coffee. In Matthew 16, Jesus said, I will build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. In Psalm 127, unless the Lord builds the house, they labor in vain who build it. And in Genesis 2, the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life, and man became a living soul. Jesus said, it is the Spirit who gives life. So after his work on the cross and three days later his resurrection, Jesus appeared to his disciples in the upper room and he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is the center of the life of God. He is the eternal breath of life by which we are born again and made alive in Christ. And so Jesus made his church alive by the breath of Holy Spirit. In Acts 2, and suddenly there came a sound from heaven as of a rushing mighty wind, and it filled the whole house where they were sitting. Then there appeared to them divided tongues as of fire, and one sat upon each of them, and they were all filled with the Holy Spirit, and began to speak with other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. The church was born. Let's pray. Our Father, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Father, breathe new life into your church with a fresh, rushing, mighty wind of Holy Spirit. For your kingdom is righteousness and peace and joy in the Holy Spirit. Lord Jesus, John said you would baptize us with the Holy Spirit and fire. We surely need some Holy Spirit fire in this generation. Our eyes are on you, Jesus, as we pray in your mighty name. Amen.